we're going to show you how to make the skin really smooth. Just like this model you see. You can't even see her pores. So right now in this video, we're going to show you a real quick, easy way to do it. And next time, we're going to show you how to do this with layer masks. So we're in Photoshop Elements, and the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to select our tool. So let's go ahead and go to the toolbar, and we're going to scroll on down, and really what we're looking for is the Blur tool. And there it is right there, the Blur tool. Now if you don't see that when you're near the bottom, you might see this. That's a smudge tool, that little finger point. Just left click and hold, and you'll see the Blur tool. Okay, now, a couple of things you need to know about the blur tool is one, you can adjust the size of the brush right here, but the most importantly, the strength that the finger is pointing to. 38% is a little bit on the high side. I would start with like 25%. I'm starting with 38% because this is a video and it look, might be a little bit harder to see what's going on. So we're just left clicking, holding, and dragging. And as you can see, the pores are disappearing as we're slightly blurring the skin. Now, as you're using the tool, it's real important that you stay away from eyelashes. And I'm going over the nose right now. Stay away from the eyelashes. Stay away from the edge of the lips. Uh, the, the very ends of the nostrils, the right and left side of the nostril, you should stay away from that area. And of course, the eyebrow. We don't want to blur the hair on the eyebrows or the, or the eyelashes. Look at the um, forehead now. A lot of the blotchiness and the red and some of the lines, the little wrinkles, are just completely gone. And you can see we just went over the bridge of the nose and those pores are just disappeared. So, now some things that you might notice while you're using this tool um, is as you get to different parts of the face, uh, you're going to have to adjust the size of your brush. Like down here at the chin, I can't really get over on that side, so I'm going to go up here. Make my brush size a little bit smaller, down to now a, uh, maybe a 16. And I can smooth out this part of the lower part, or the upper part of the chin. And now above the lip. And my brush is actually a little bit too big for this, but for the purposes of this video, that's fine. Okay, and uh, there's a little bit of a before shot. and before and after so again we're doing this a real quick way there's before again we're gonna go to an after shot but this is a real quick way to do it with the blur tool next time in about two weeks I'm gonna show you how to do it with a layer mask the way Hollywood does it it's a little bit harder but you're gonna love it thanks for watching a lot from Info Puppet <laughs>